What if you gave God more of your time? What would happen? What do you spend much time on? Okay. Back in the past, I believe I was, I don't remember, maybe 12, 13, I forget. I think I asked my cousin how to get a girlfriend and I believe he replied, I guess as a blow off, something like you can't get every woman. <laughs> How is that helpful? <laughs> so as I grew up, you know, I guess I was a bit awkward or whatever. Then when I got at a certain age, I believe I started to research about women and you may think that is very lame or whatever, whatever you want to think. I started, I believe I started to read books about how women are, like how they think. And also I believe I started to experiment with approaching women, seeing what worked, what not worked. I believe I got <laughs> rejected so many times, but I think being rejected taught me so many things. Some things I believe. I would ask men about women. I would ask women about women. When I started to get girlfriends, I believe they taught me more, I guess, more about them and about women as well. So I think I was taking notes and now I am in the place where I am now, which I don't use the information I know about women in the wrong way anymore. But I am at the point to where I can understand women so much better than in the past, back when I asked my cousin how to get a girlfriend. And you may say to me, what is your point, Kevin? I have a point to this. So for me to, now I am not saying I understand everything about women. I don't. Is it even possible? <laughs> but my point is I researched and I understand quite a bit about women, so much now. Okay. What if I was like that toward the things of God? Research so much about the things of God back then. What if the effort I took in researching about women, what if I did the same with the things of God as much? I probably would be so more advanced than what I am now. What do you put so much effort in? Learning about how to fix vehicles? learning about makeup, lipstick and stuff like that, how to do your hair, what clothes to wear and stuff like that. What do you put much time in learning? Okay, what if you took that time 
and trying to learn about God. Kevin, I don't understand why this is happening in my life. Kevin, I don't understand why, you know, demons or whatever is doing this or that. What if you took the time to research heavily about the things of God. Would you be in the position you are in now? Wouldn't you be better? I believe all of us place our time in something. Even if you say you place all your time into being depressed and sleeping. What if the time you take to do that, what if you place that in researching about God? Won't, wouldn't you be so much better and obeying God. Right? I think I researched so much time. I believe I placed so much research in learning how to do evil, how to do this and do that. What good is that going to do for me? Please listen to what I am saying. I believe you are not doing well in God because you are probably not placing too much effort into it. Going to church once a week, how in the world is that good enough? I believe doing things of God daily is something we should all do. I think it's an everyday affair. Not something once a week, twice a week, three times a week. Place much effort into it. I believe I placed so much effort in trying to learn about women because I wanted to do this and that. But what good is that? Yes, I believe what I know about women helps me to help them. Yes, I believe so. But toward the evil things, I think it is. it was a waste of time. You may be in college now. You may be in some type of class or whatever. And you may play so much time in trying to learn this and that. What good is it? What good are those classes going to be when you die? God, I have a degree in playing with my fingers. Do your degree, will your degree mean anything in heaven or hell? You may be in school for many years. You may play so much time in trying to do whatever you are doing, but will it matter when you die? Will it? I don't think so, right? So why even... It is not bad to go to college, but I think it is bad if you make college your priority and push God away. Will your college degrees or your classes or whatever they may be called, will it matter if you die in sin? Yes, I want to make more money, yes. I want to travel and do this and that, but if I focus more on money making and not on God, how is that going to profit me? Can I take my iPod with me to heaven? Can I take my, my phone to heaven? Can I take my material possessions to heaven? No. So why would I be so focused on trying to get women or trying to get rich and stuff like that, which I am not saying it is bad to want things in life, but I believe it is bad if you make them the priority and push God away. Right? 
So if something is taking so much of your time from God, I think you need to cut it off. Well, Kevin, you know, I want to have money and I want to have a nice house. So I have to prepare myself for life. But if you die in sin, what good is it, man? What good is it? I want money. But if I am working 12, 14 hours a day and have no time to pray or to do anything of God, what's the point? Man, let me stop here. God bless you.